Hello everyone, welcome to Good Morning Tarot. Now, this is a general reading and it is open to all zodiac signs. It is also timeless, so anytime you find yourself watching this video, you might get a message here for you. Now, let's try to see what is the main energy for the day. So, we have here the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands is a card that shows a person who is beginning a certain project. He has already started the project, as you can see. He has already planted three wands, and the wands are starting to grow. Now, he's also wearing uh, working clothes. So, you have already started, for many of you, you have already started a certain project at this time. And right now, you're taking a moment of pause. As you take that moment of pause, there are two things that you might be considering at this time. Maybe you are looking back into the past, trying to compare your present moment to the past. Now, this is a very important aspect in, in our decision making. Uh, you are able to compare your present situation to that of the past. Uh, for some of you, there might be a longing for the past. Like, for example, the Egyptians, uh, the, the Israelites, when they left Egypt, some of them looked back to the past and some of them were hoping to go back to Egypt. So it can be like that. You might have already started a certain project and at this moment in time, you are missing the past. It can be that one. The other one is looking forward to the future. Now that you've started your project, somehow you can already have uh, a certain inkling of what the future will be. So in a certain sense, this person who's looking at a distance can be a person who is looking back into the past or looking forward into the future. Now you try to see how this resonates with you. Now, when you are taking a pause and assessing your situation, it's important to weigh things, to look at the good and the bad sides of the past and the good and the bad sides of the promise of the future. It will allow you to make a better decision. Now, moments of pause are also very important. It allows you to replenish your lost energy and at the same time, it allows you to look at the big picture so that you will not be lost in the forest, but to be able to fly like an eagle and see the whole situation in, in an objective way. At the same time, taking a pause will allow you also to try to find creative ways of continuing your endeavor. It's also allowing you to learn whatever lessons you have or to gather whatever lessons that you have learned along the way. Now let's try to see how this will further unfold. Well, there will be more challenges ahead of you. We have here the se seven of wands, but as you can see, the person is on top of the situation. So somehow he is able to maintain an objective point of view. And I feel that is the challenge for you as you go through this project to always try to maintain an objective point of view and taking pauses every once in a while, distancing yourself from the situation will allow you to maintain an objective point of view of your life situation. Whatever challenges you will encounter, you will be able to overcome them. You seem to be in control of the situation and you seem to be on fire. You can be also an inspiration for others wherein your fire will set other hearts on fire. Now, what is the advice of the universe for you? Well, try to balance between work and nurturing oneself. You see here the Queen of Swords. She is generous by extending her left hand, which is that of compassion. But at the same time, she's holding a sword as if she is also requiring others to contribute their part. She also has good boundaries. The sword also symbolizes learning to say no so that you will be able to continue to be efficient. Now, this journey that you are undergoing can also be a journey of transformation, just as symbolized by the crown of the Queen of Swords. When you look at the crown of the Queen of Swords, there are butterflies on the crown, which can symbolize transformation. So this experience that you are encountering right now, the lessons you are learning, are also leading you towards transformation. 
you are also developing the aware the receptivity to towards your spirit guides as symbolized by the angels on the throne of the king queen of swords so there's a need for you to also listen to your intuition to the guidance coming from the universe whatever challenges you are encountering right now there will be clouds that are slowly clearing in the sky when you look at the card of the queen of swords there are still some clouds but there are also clear skies so in a certain sense whatever challenges you will encounter they too will pass there is also a certain importance of being close to nature as seen in the card of the queen of swords so this is what we have for our good morning tarot let us now go to the self-care tip for our self-care tip the message comes from paulo coelho and the message is when we strive to become better than we are everything around us becomes better too or becomes better too okay so here when we look at it it's very much related to our tarot reading here we see a person with the three of wands a person begot starting a project and the person who is facing challenges uh, as you go through the project as we can see from the seven of wands now the important thing here is the person is on fire when the person is on fire when the person strives to aim for excellence it influences people around them that's why when we look at the seven of wands the people below him are also on fire when we are on fire we set other hearts also on fire when we strive for something very important in life something significant when we strive to sing the song that we are meant to sing we influence the world in a positive way just as uh, when we have a negative energy it influences also in a negative way the environment around us and the people around us so it's very important for us to maintain a positive energy and to always strive to become better because when we do so our enthusiasm overflows and influences in a positive way the people around us now to be able to maintain that positive attitude we need to have the spirit of the queen of swords wherein she is also taking moments of pause just like also the three of wands where the person who is working takes a moment of pause in order to recharge herself or recharge himself we need to take moments of pause in order to rekindle that fire that is coming from within so when we strive to become better than we are everything around us becomes better too so that's it for our self-care tip and our good morning tarot i hope that it has given you some inspiration and some answers to your present life challenges Thank you for the likes and comments comments you've given to the channel thank you for subscribing i hope to see you again soon until that time may god continue to bless your ways